this Donkey Kong Jr. here. Um, they thought it was dead, but uh, I think the monitor is just in shutdown. So I put a different monitor on here. And I didn't hear any high voltage from it. There we go. Already had high voltage. So uh, I adjusted the, uh, the hold pots on it because they were freaking out like crazy. And this is all I get. So you can see that there's there's some movement, like something's going on here. So I'm just going to pull the board. I don't think I've ever done it to this one. Um, oh, yeah, I have. This was over at the warehouse. But I'm going to pull the board again. I'm going to clean it off and uh, reseed everything real well. And I oh, can't even see in there anyway. And I'm going to reseed everything real, real well. And then we'll see where it's at. There we go. It's a little better. Um, what else? This is the Mad Dog McCree cabinet. I got Centipede going. Um, we had some problems or they, it wouldn't sink. And so I think that's why we got it. It had a negative sync monitor in it and the game is wired positive sync. They got it right, but I don't know. I don't know what was up after that. Maybe the monitor had died and the replacement wasn't wired properly. I don't know. I just wired it back to positive sync and the monitor Looks like it was a joust. <laughs> you see that? Um, it, it was ready for a positive sync, so everything worked fine with that once I got it going. And you could hear the really high-pitched whine in it whenever I uh, was trying to plug it in with the wrong sync. It was pretty obvious. Um, done some work on Caveman. I don't know what the progress is. We're gonna plug it in and check it. And what is this here? Uh, Donkey Kong. And here I pulled the board, kind of cleaned it, found some chips with broken legs. I think I need to go through it and maybe uh, fine tooth comb the board a little bit. Um, it did work for a little while, they said. And we should be able to, you know, test back and forth between those two cabinets. And then I also worked on the Space Invaders this week. And it's still, it's, it's getting good voltage, I think, but it's still, uh, it's still just showing uh, like solid lines on there. So I don't know if it's a RAM problem or a ROM problem, but we'll figure that one out too. We got another extra board set that works. But stick around and hang on and I'm gonna see if I can't fix this part real quick and then we'll look at the other games. No luck. Looks like we have maybe more color, more image, but uh, not any better. I'm gonna test the voltages again at the board and at the power supply. And then um, I'm also gonna try the uh, Donkey Kong board in there. It's a four board stack. They both have the weird connectors on the side rather than the edge connector. Um, so I'm gonna see if maybe it's a cabinet issue or if it's a board issue. See if maybe the board could have been flexed. I, I had the board working, you know, uh, a few months ago. So I, I don't think it was ever 100%, but I think it just had graphic glitches or something. But. We'll have to dig into the more on that tomorrow. Um, see, I do want to show you guys the centipede. I'm gonna have to pull crap out to get here. Let's see about caveman. Actually, I think I am gonna, oh, it's all bent up, that's why. I'm gonna grab the tripod so that we don't have as many problems. What I did on this one is I I, uh, I worked on this video board set that's in the bottom because we had no video up here at all and there were some cold solder joints. I don't know that it, that did anything. Um, just gonna hope that maybe there's some difference. There's some kind of test rig to, to test those, but they don't look all that complicated. It just looks like some ROMs or something on one and then very minor circuits on each little board in particular. So I'm just not sure what's up with that. I haven't re read hardly anything on this, but I just cleaned it all up just like you normally would and uh, hooked it back up. So we'll plug that in. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> this one also has a problem and, and this is common too with the tilt it's either the tilt relay or the uh, these uh, 
slam switch relay. There's some kind of problem there too, because you got to jack around with this to get it to play or go into test mode. Fun stuff. <laughs> I'll be right back. Let's get the tripod. Donkey Kong, kinda. <laughs> I'll show you what we have going on with it. I haven't really poked around on here too much. I pulled the board out and just kind of cleaned it and reseeded everything. But that hasn't done much effort. It doesn't, that effort hasn't done much good. The startup sounds usually good. That sounds good. Oh, no, it doesn't. So it's possibly... I mean, it could be voltage problem, it could be a lot of different things. I'm not sure on that one. So no go on there. Um, but I'm gonna test the uh, voltages in the Donkey Kong Jr. over here. Once I know they're okay, for sure, uh, I wanna check them at the board. <coughs> I can try the board over there and then we can check them in here, make sure everything's really good. Or, But I, I have a feeling it, it's just board issues and it's not cabinet issues personally. Um, next let's look at, I guess since we're here, we can look at caveman. Let's see, are we zoomed in or are we just that close? Surely we're zoomed in, right? No, nope, I guess not. Okay. some light for us. Now, I don't expect this one to do much more than it did. Oh, that's way too much. The other day, I expected probably to be exactly the same, honestly. We had no video, but we did have some, some kind of game actions. And I actually did get it to, to play. It just wouldn't fire the ball up. Give me one second here. I don't think uh, what I did to the video board is going to cause the video to come up. It didn't seem to be that detriment detrimental. So it seems like it's okay. Let's try to start a game. Don't start a game. You can kind of hear it hum on the inside. And so what I've been doing just to get around it is Here's the slam switch. You can hear the the relay change. And that seems like it's fine. I'll point up. There we go. Just one time. So what I'm doing is pulling the slam switch open. And it looks like there for a few seconds you can point it up. Okay, it's open. Closing it. Ah, I thought maybe during the uh, attract mode is whenever I could do it. Okay, so now it's open again. Closed. Yeah, I just got one credit. And let me see, I'm gonna do the same thing. Do I even have you guys pointed at what I'm doing? I'm gonna do the same thing and try to hit the start button to start a game. Yeah. <laughs> 
So that's what it does. It sounds like it's starting a game. And then we have the same repeating sound. And if I pull the ball out, oh, I just tilted it. Try and start again. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the, <laughs> the slam switch and give it a credit. Going, Just check it on these games. Word, uh, Ready? We'll leave here in about 15 or so. <laughs> Sounds like that, uh, that machine from the fucking, uh, I'm filming. What is that machine? Uh, oh. You know what I'm talking about from, uh, uh Maximum Overdrive? Yeah. <laughs> it's the star what, castle that kills the guy. You up? <laughs> and that's about how this repair is going. <laughs> Let's look at another one. So Centipede, I did have some luck with. This is the one where I was saying it, it was just the, uh, sink on the monitor, basically. So once we put two monitors in and they, neither one of them worked the way we wanted to and they had the same problem, then I knew, okay, well, it's probably not a monitor issue. It's probably a cabinet issue. And I started looking into it and really right away I found that this game's wired for a positive sync for your monitor. And looking at the wiring, it was for negative sync and the monitor we were using was looking for positive sync. So. It was really easy to just switch it back, pulled the two pins out of the little extra connector, put them back in the original one, hooked it up. Like I said, it, when I first turned it on, it was squealing because the pots were in the right spot. I turned the hold until it got to the right spot. And all of a sudden it just was purring. I walked around, I knew it was gonna be perfect. Now I don't think the color palette is right here, or I don't know, is, is this in a different language or is this a, uh, having some kind of errors with the the language that it's in. Milieur score, bonus chalk. Is it in French? Anyway, let's see if it starts. The, uh, there is sound, I hear it. The trackball was in wrong, sideways, so I just undid it, turned it, put it back in. Needs to be taken apart and cleaned. I'm not very good at this game. I'm not very good at any of these games. Is gonna get me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Looking at Joe's real ass's menu. I thought you said, you want some ecstasy tonight? I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm filming for YouTube, dude. <laughs> Looks like it's in French. That's cool. I guess it's a dip switch, dip switch setting. Anyway, stay tuned tomorrow and we'll uh, fix these guys up and show you what's wrong with them, what I did. So these two right here are gonna be ground in five volt. So what do we get here? Did I not turn the game on? I didn't turn the game on. I guess that would help. Hang on. 
here it is. A nice little trade. The person I traded got what they wanted. I got what I wanted. And a pretty good deal on it, too. Why did I get what I want? <laughs> <laughs> that comes later. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's, it's on fire. What happened? Whoa. Lots of smoke. Well, that's bad. Yeah, well, thanks for watching. <laughs> when you take care of people, people take care of you in this community. That's the truth. So, everyone, please remember that. Even if we're competitors, we're not enemies.